Welcome back to Press Pause. Ever get up in the morning and wonder what you're going to wear that day? You look in the closet and just stand there for several moments and think, I have nothing to wear. And yet your closet is just bursting forth with clothes. Or perhaps you're like my husband who prepares his clothes for the next day before he goes to bed at night. It takes him no time to get dressed in the morning because he knows exactly what he's wearing. We all want to look our best whenever we leave home. So we put on clean clothes. How about new clothes rather than old clothes that have been hanging there in the closet because of the impression we want to leave with others. We don't want to arrive somewhere with smelly, filthy clothes considered to be rags. I got thinking of references in the Bible regarding clothes. Isaiah 64, 6 says, All of us have become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. We all shrivel up like a leaf, and like our, the wind, our sins sweep us away. Reading this verse is a reminder that our righteous acts are like filthy rags before God. We have been stained by our sin, and there is nothing that we can do to clean those stains and make us acceptable before God. Romans 3.10 says, There is no one righteous, not even one. So before God, we are wear wearing filthy, smelly rags. But there is hope. Isaiah 61.10 says, I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of righteousness. Zechariah 3.4 says, See, I have taken away your sin, and I will put rich garments on you. These garments of salvation and robes of righteousness are available only when our sins have been taken away. And so how is that done? Galatians 3, 26, 27 say, You are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourself, it is a gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. Jesus' death on the cross provided the way for us to leave our old, filthy, sinful rags behind and receive new clothes, clothes of righteousness that are white and clean because they have been washed by the blood of Jesus. All we need to do is accept Jesus. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved, Acts 4.12. So, what to wear? Filthy rags or robes of righteousness made possible through Christ Jesus. I have chosen the robe of righteousness, so I die to myself daily and live for Christ my Savior. I close with this prayer by Dr. James Merritt. God, thank you for the righteousness that you have given me in Jesus. You could have left me in the filthy rags of sin, but your kindness and grace, you chose to seek me and save me, exchanging my filth for your righteousness, my sin and shame for your salvation. Help me to always remember who I am in you. In Jesus' name, amen.